Well, home sales have hit an 11 year low in the LA area, but you wouldn't call it a housing slump on one Sherman Oak Street. No, there are five large homes going up all at once there, and the homeowner who sits right in the middle of it says that he's living in a construction nightmare. Mm. CBS 2's investigator Christine Lazar joins us now with what's going on there. Do you guys remember that movie Up, where the little old man's yes. living there and all the skyscrapers <laughs> go and he puts the balloons on to fly out of there? It reminded me of that. Now, he's lived on this street for more than a decade, and while he knows new development is routine for the L.A. area, he says what his street is experiencing is above and beyond. Professional musician Kevin Chown certainly isn't opposed to a little noise. But it's this kind of noise that has the Sherman Oaks homeowner's head pounding. This is my neighborhood. This is not your construction site. Kevin travels for work and was gone from May until December when he returned on New Year's Eve. Not one or two, but five homes were being built around his home here on Hartsook Street. It's a nice peaceful Saturday morning. One house on each side of him, one directly across the street, and two catty corner, now sharing a lot that used to house a single story home. So, what was it like for you the first time you drove down the street when you got back to LA? I didn't recognize the place. Each house is between two to four times the size of the house it replaced, making them what some refer to as McMansions. There's more square footage in this house than three of my houses. Now, Kevin wants to make it clear he isn't opposed to change. What I have the biggest problem with is doing them all at the same time because it comes as such a shock to the people that live here. Another day in paradise. All day construction noise in stereo as the five houses go up at once. The level of noise is unacceptable. The level of dust is unacceptable. Construction crews double parking at the end of the cul-de-sac, literally filling it up. Semis blocking the road almost completely. Kevin says the day after the house next door was torn down, a large crack appeared in his pool and across his living room ceiling. There are dumpsters parked on the street instead of on the lot. Kevin says some of the construction workers have little respect for his property. He was driving a, a backhoe front end loader next door. As he came out of the gate there, he couldn't get into the street to get to his trailer, so he drives over my front yard in front of me. What do you want to be done? I want the policies of the city to change so that they don't allow such consolidated construction to take place at one time and affect only a few people so severely. Eric Sussman is a professor of real estate at the Anderson School of Management at UCLA. He says cities do not take into consideration how many homes are under construction when they issue new permits. Sussman says McMansions used to be just a west side phenomenon, but that's changed. It's contagious, so land values in Sherman Oaks and Studio City over the hill into Hollywood have also skyrocketed, so it's not surprising the trend is, uh, has caught fire. Do you think that this is just a trend that we'll eventually see go away, or is this our new normal? I think the truth is probably in between. These new homes will likely boost Kevin's home value, but he says it comes at a price. Now, we reached out to Kevin's councilman, David Ryu, and in a statement, he told us construction is a concern in res residential neighborhoods across Council District 4, especially when a large number of projects overwhelm one community. He went on to say the city needs to be doing more to coordinate construction. Now, right now, there are new hillside construction regulations to minimize the impact to hillside communities, but the councilman tells me those regulations should be considered for other neighborhoods. Neighborhoods like the valley. Now, the council person's, uh, councilman's office also went out there and ticketed all those cars that were parking like that in the well, middle of nice. the cul de sac. Because that's, that's not legal no. whether you're doing construction or not. And it certainly is really hard if you live there to get around all that. That's really too bad. And I see more and more of that, not just in that community, but in other communities in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. it's, I understand the growth is good, concerns. but you know, it would be nice if it didn't happen all at once. Yeah. All right. Wow. Thanks, Christine. Christine. Thank you. Well, can Two on Your Side help you? Just email Two on Your Side at CBS.com with your problem or on social media. Use the hashtag 
to on your side.